hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr have you ever seen a job ad somewhere and you felt wow this is too good to be true most likely it is with unemployment rates at an all-time high scammers are taking advantage of people's desperation and really duping them scammers have always been around but now with technology they've been empowered to reach more people and also develop more tricks of scamming people in today's video i'm going to share with you four ways to recognize job scams and how to avoid them so stay with me because you don't want to be the scam victim one promises of work from home and online jobs now these are bound today on youtube on many other social media platforms promises work from home some of them say we'll just take this short survey and then we'll pay you this amount some say okay you're just transcribing this or you're just inputting this data for us you're writing for us i'm aware of some sites i'll refrain from mentioning them that are authentic but most of these sites are just out there to scam you. Now, scammers need two things from you, your money and your personal information. So they are either stealing from you or stealing information from you so that they can pose as you. They all are contributing to your head. So anytime you receive this job alerts about doing something little for ridiculous amounts of money, you are most likely going to be scammed. Do not fall for it. I always say this, that money gravitates towards value. So if you are not providing value for anything, and yet people are promising to give you so much money, you will be a candidate for scamming if you fall for it. So please be aware of that. Number two, email job offers. Now, when a serious company offers you a job, it's because they've engaged you sometimes on three decision levels before making a final choice for you. So you receive an email of a job offer, they have a job description and even how much they are going to pay you and you have no remembrance of engaging with a company like that sometimes out of desperation over the fact that you've been applying for several months or sometimes even years the offer looks good and you are tempted to go for it please do not fall for it i always say that money goes towards value the person is giving you the job because they know you are bringing something on board and here's the situation you've never demonstrated anything about how you are able to do the job yet they are offering it to you on a silver platter no you are most likely going to be scammed so desist from signing such offers and sending it back now some of these emails come to you and it's let's say micro.soft.equia at gmail.com the domain name alone is suspicious so when you look at an email like that you know that no this is probably a scam if microsoft is going to give you a job it will most likely be for example hannah.wordy at microsoft.com so those are some of the red flags you need to watch out for when you receive email job offers number three mass government recruitment i'm sure some of you have seen those before where you receive sometimes a text message or an email or sometimes in your linkedin they say mass government recruitment government is recruiting for social and so agency and we need to prepare you for government specific rules and we require you to pay social and so amounts now in the recruitment or hiring value chain it's all about exchange so you are bringing something on board for the person's money it's not the other way around so you don't pay first so you get the job anytime someone is asking you for money to provide something for you before a job know that you are about to be scammed and do not fall for it never pay money for someone to 
link you to a job or to train you for a job they are hiring you for your expertise that's all you need your experience and your education and other requirements for the job you don't have to pay money to someone to train you for a job let me give you this example so i had a friend who was asked by this agency to sign up for a job they actually said the job is available we're just matching you to, to the organization but you need to complete this form first and then he goes ahead to fill it and they said now you need to come to our location and it was a very far place the person spends almost the same amount of registration in transportation to get there he gets there and it's just this very small shop that was even closed with no one there and at 10 a.m this shop wasn't opened and there were several others that had been scammed who paid money and were there and were waiting so you see you do not have to pay money you are offering value to interact with them they would see your value and they will hire you so you don't have to pay for it always see that as a red flag if you have to pay to get a job four verify job sites if you're a typical job seeker you probably have googled if you're an accountant accounting jobs in accra so there are some job sites that will automatically pop up now because these sites are verified and known you may be deceived into thinking that then everything they put there must be authentic but no now how these job sites get their listings is that they are accumulated from other companies websites who are advertising also these companies um, come to list on their job boards okay so it's likely for other scammers to also create fake jobs fake accounts and then come and list it there so for verified job sites make sure you research the organization especially if it's not known sometimes when you go and google or you do your research you don't even have to do a, a deep research you google the name and then you realize on social media they have multiple accounts different themes and there's no coordination between the information they are putting out in all those accounts know that this organization or this fake organization is out there to scam me look out for these red flags what kind of emails am I getting? How do the emails look like? What are the domain names? You don't want at gmail.com. You want at the company name.com. You don't want to be engaging with people who ask you for personal information like your slate, like your driver's license and other information, even before you have any discussion about the role in question. You don't want to be engaging with someone who is asking you for money before they give you work to do so these are some of the things to look out for so that you avoid falling for job scams thank you so much for watching today's video have you ever been a victim of a job scam or do you know anyone that has been through it feel free to share in the comment section please subscribe like comment and share our videos see you in our next video thank you